Doing something a little different today and doing a writer's vlog. And like any self-respecting writer, I'm eating cold pasta for breakfast. I never claim to be normal. Now it's time to get my day started. And once I've stepped over the old girls, I think they like the rug. Hi, DJ. My day-to-day -day routine is pretty normal. It's uh, some of my least favorite chores, like making the bed. As you can tell from the background, we are in the middle of a full makeover and there's about 15 swatches of color because I can't choose a color. But the drywall is because we got a pocket door installed where the bathroom is. I can't wait for that to be done. Every day I take a slew of uh, prescriptions and supplements. These two are horse pills, so I usually take them after the first five. Time to get dressed and ready for the day. Once I'm dressed and ready to go, it's time to hit the words. I'll sit in the cave as long as I can, although I do have to get up a lot. Slow moving, but I've been getting writing done. I wish I typed that fast in real life. I ran some very rare errands today. I usually don't go anywhere because I can't really drive, but some things needed to be done. I had to hit the grocery store, the pharmacy, and you get to ride along with me to see my beautiful tiny little town. While we don't have a lot in this area, the things we do have is pretty close. My favorite grocery store is about a minute and a half drive when I'm not going at warp speed and fast forward. A high point and a downfall of living in the country is it's all highway driving. Our kids learn to drive going 60 miles an hour on the highway. There are very few subdivisions in this area. As I turn the corner, you're gonna see my favorite restaurant, just some small hole in the wall place with the best food. There were a lot more errands I was hoping to run today, but because of the vestibular migraines, my head wasn't going to allow me to go much further than going down into town, which is what we call it. It's not really a town, but we'll go with it. One of the errands I wanted to run was Dollar General, but of course they didn't have what I needed. After my two short stops, I decided to take the back way home to show you how very truly beautiful my little town is. Rivers, fields, cornfields, cows, it's perfection. We moved to this tiny town about 10 years ago from St. Louis. And I gotta tell you, it was the best decision I ever made. It's so isolated and exactly the way I like it. And since I went to the grocery store, I had to do like a normal person and eat a bowl of cereal for lunch. Cause yeah. While I was eating, I got a call from my mama because we talk about 10 times a day. But notice I'm still working while we're talking? Of course. Oh, 
I got mine. I just, I basically went and got snack stuff. Some bananas, some apples, some rice cakes, Doritos. Just, I have food. I just didn't have anything to crunch on. Milk. I got milk. I normally schedule my month a few days before the month ends for the next, but I was slacking. So I spent some time today scheduling uh, the rest of the month for my social media. How many times did I just say month? Hey y'all, just want to give you a little bit of a day in the life kind of deal. This wasn't a typical day because I don't generally leave my house because I can't really drive much, but yeah, let me know if you guys like that voiceover vlog style and if you want to see more of my day in the life. Mine is never going to be the same as other full-time authors because I do have to get up a lot. I do have to move around a lot because of my head, but a lot of my day consists of writing, obviously, marketing, social media. You can see in the video that I did my scheduling for the month, things like that. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy this format. Until next time, I'll see you Friday. Bye.